I feel like it's been a while since I was the one to intro in one of these videos, so I guess it's my turn now. It is about a week after Schooly Palooza. Um, it was really fun. It just, it was a lot of social interaction, and as you may or may not know, Natalie and I, we were pretty big introverts. So we were a little drained by it, but we've taken a few days off. We're just kind of relaxing in the Arizona desert, but I think we're ready to go back out, start traveling, start exploring, and uh, seeing what else is out there. Natalie is here, don't worry. She's just behind the camera getting stuff ready because we're gonna be heading out of our campsite pretty soon. I do need something back here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This has actually been our first time ever at Lake Havasu, Arizona. It's known to be like a really pretty area. I think a lot of people come down here for the winter months because it's so warm. It's 72 degrees today and it's early February. So it's a really good spot to get away from the cold, but it's not much of a secret. There are a ton of people here. We've been staying in some free BLM land, which is normally where we try to camp so that we can save money. And we are not the only ones to have that idea. There are tons of other people. From our campsite, I could throw a rock and I could hit another RV, which is fine. It's just worth noting because most of the BLM spots we have, we really have the place more to ourselves. This road is so bumpy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everything's still in place in the back for now. Our next van might be a four by four. Okay, we're all set. Thank you so Have much. Thanks, Thanks, you too. All right, where do we go? To be honest, I hadn't really thought this far ahead. We're trying to be more spontaneous. So that's what led us here today. But uh, we don't really have a plan. So I'm not really sure what the, I'm not really sure where to go or what to do here. That's just part of the fun. I read online that this campground is booked out a year in advance, so that's just how popular of an area this is. All right, this might be the most detailed map I've ever seen in my life. It's just a piece of wood and like some chalk outline. You're being sarcastic, right? I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> okay. We've gotten plenty of desert in the last month. I want to see some water. Hey! <laughs> Come on, Nat. I'm coming. I'm trying to hold the camera still. <laughs> For those of you who caught that little tiny number on the wooden map at the beginning, this hike is only one mile long. And you can really tell because we are already at the water. No, no, no. We gotta play it up. <laughs> All right. Eight miles in, feeling good so far, and we finally see some water. Yes, day two. <laughs> <laughs> day two. Three to go. <laughs> It's just hot enough out here where it would be really nice to go swimming. Like right there, that bluish green water, that looks so nice and cool. Yeah, that's tempting. I kind of wish we still had our kayaks. When we moved into the van, we had to make a choice between keeping our inflatable kayaks or our e-bikes. And the e-bikes won. I think it was a good call, but being here, it makes me really miss the kayaks. We just recently left California like a couple of weeks ago. And fun fact, behind me on the other side of this river, that's California. All right, after five tiresome days, we've completed the one mile hike. I think it's been 30 minutes. <laughs> if that. I don't know how to say this next part without seeming really cheap but we did pay money to be here and I wanna get full use out of it. So we're gonna move down to the beach and try to enjoy the sunset while we're here. I kinda of wanna stay as long as we possibly can. I think the reason that the day use fee is so high, even though there's only a handful of hikes, is because a lot of people come here with their motorboats and like use the marina to go put their boats on the river. We don't need to do any of that. So we're just kinda of trying to figure out where we can take advantage of what we've paid for. <laughs> which at this point, all we found is picnic tables. Right. 
I don't know why they had a spiral at the beach, but that was fun. When we were in college, Jimmy and I actually took a meditation class, and part of that was walking meditation. You know there's a shortcut to the meditation, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna reach enlightenment too fast. <laughs> The sun's getting low and it's so pretty here. This has got to be the best spot to watch a sunset. It's right over the Colorado River, overlooking the cliffs on the other side, which is California. And we've got palm trees, white sand beach. I've got Jimmy outside holding on to a picnic table for us so no one else takes it. And I'm gonna work on cooking us some dinner so that we can have a picnic. I haven't burned anything yet. Although I might have got a little close. But I'm making teriyaki tofu and some steamed broccoli and rice. And I might fry the rice. We'll see how I feel. I'm happy with how that turned out. I ended up frying the rice and going the extra little mile. Uh, it looks like a pretty good meal. Hey, Natalie. I got dinner. Let me see what you got. We got teriyaki tofu, steamed broccoli, and fried rice. Fried rice. Very fancy, and yum yum sauce. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really nice, Nat. Thanks, I'm excited. For those of you who don't know, this is the bomb. You're welcome. <laughs> down, down, down. Look how cute our van is, Jimmy. I know, it's very cute. So cozy. You did such a good job decorating. Aw, thanks. my brights. Maybe. Help. Yeah. We are driving back and we're gonna try and get a spot at the campsite where we stayed last night. I know it's super busy there so we're just gonna have to cross our fingers and hope that we can find another spot. Hope this is the town. Like the road looks a lot more dangerous. Yeah. All right so someone definitely took the spot we wanted to stay at. Oh boy. There's like two people there now. There's about to be three. I don't think we can fit there. Now I just gotta make sure I don't run off the cliff. It might seem like we're playing up getting back to our spot, but we really hate driving in the dark and it's really hard to find proper campsites on BLM land in the dark. All right, we're pretty tired, so we're gonna sign off here tonight, but we'll pick you back up tomorrow morning. Today is y'all's lucky day. We're about to answer a question we have been getting on every one of our videos since the van build. And that is, where do we go shower? Here is the straightforward answer. I guess there's three answers. One, that's one shower. It can face outside, face inside. Number two, we actually bought a portable shower uh, pretty early on in the van build. Natalie, do you wanna hand me the portable shower? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is every Van Lacker's portable shower. And number three is of course, Planet Fitness. We're in Lake Havasu, so there is a Planet Fitness in town, luckily, so we're gonna go into town, maybe get a small workout in, and then take some showers. All right, what about the other question? Where do we go to the bathroom? We're, we'll answer that on another video. <laughs> yeah, subscribe for that <laughs> one. Yeah, subscribe for that one. Thank you. Thank you. I'm about to get cuter once you shower. There you go. <laughs> this is... <laughs> We got a Planet Fitness membership so that we could shower in the van. And there's a couple different membership options you can get there. There's one that's cheaper where it's just for one person for one fixed location, or you can get the more expensive black card membership. And that's good for one person plus a guest. So both of us, and you can go to any Planet Fitness location in the country. 
which is perfect if you're traveling. So Jimmy has the Planet Fitness membership with the black card and I come as his guest every time and we have never had an issue with it. It's been a great option for us because we pay about $25 a month and it lets us both shower and exercise whenever we want. Oh yeah, I don't have any makeup on, so I just got out of the shower. This was the busiest Planet Fitness I think we've ever gone to, probably because it's like the start of the year still. Every single shower was taken. We would show you like what the shower in the locker room looks like, but I don't really want to be the person in the locker room with a camera. I feel like that's a really quick way to get kicked out of a Planet Fitness. So, I mean, you know what it looks like. You can picture a shower. That's pretty much it. So it is kind of annoying having to go and shower in public so often, but we figured out kind of a couple little ways to make it feel more streamlined and less tedious. And probably the biggest thing was we went and we got uh, matching little shower bags. Everything that we need to shower fits in here. We have shower shoes, we have our little microfiber towels, which are very small, and we also have uh, little soaps. We got like shampoo, conditioner. We just bought these little travel size packs of soap for the convenience of fitting them in a small bag. And then we refill them whenever they get low so that we don't keep having to go back and buy a bunch of these little travel things. And then of course a combination lock in here so that you can lock your things in a locker while you're showering. So it's really nice. We can just decide, let's go to Planet Fitness. We just have to grab this bag and go. Makes it easier. We're about to drive over the original London Bridge. Like the one from London in, in the UK. <laughs> we don't know much about it, but it was moved here in 1970 and was made part of this little bridge that we're about to cross over. That's more than I realized we knew about it. What, the date? Yeah. <laughs> That's sad. We gotta look up more stuff. About was it really go. 1970? I, I actually thought it was 1830. Really? Yeah. Well, all right, either 1830 or 1970, one of the two. Yeah. We'll see, uh, we'll see who's paying for dinner tonight. Whoever gets the right date doesn't have to pay for dinner. But we have a shared account, so joke's on us. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so pretty and tropical here. There's all sorts of palm trees. And Lake Havasu itself is really, really blue. So it looks like an oasis. Okay, this is it. Uh, yeah, I saw the sign. London Bridge 200 feet ahead, so this Whoa. is it. It says jumping prohibited. So London Bridge is a bridge in Lake Havasu City, built in the 1830s. I don't know where I saw 1970. Well, okay, okay. It was built in the 1830s, but the rededication of the London Bridge in Arizona took place in October 1971. Wow. So I think you were right, Jimmy. So we're both right. Yeah, kinda. If, if you're gonna be nice, then I was right too. Between the two of us, you can get one whole fact. <laughs> I don't think they like you. Are they leaving? <laughs> you gotta go speak their language. They like that. They're coming closer. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> they're literally getting further away. Alright, we're gonna quit terrorizing the birds. <laughs> they're coming over to you. They're coming for you.
can't believe it's a herd of ducks. What is a group of ducks called? <laughs> Not this again. A flock, maybe? <laughs> oh, it's a team, a team of ducks. So we kind of just decided on this, but this is where we just were. And at the end of this trail is a lighthouse. So I think we're gonna go all the way and find the lighthouse at the end of the trail. It's a replica, right? Or is it actually like a functioning thing? So you know I don't know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. We'll find out together, because we obviously don't know. Please don't tell me that's it. And not a tall person. <laughs> I don't think they're home. Alright, was that it? I think that was it. It was right next to a playground, so I think that kind of explains it. This is a really nice area though. It was not a bad walk. There is one over there, but it's still about about the same size. Yeah, these are really small. All right. Don't mind Natalie. She's just getting an inhaler puff in the back. You good? <laughs> you good, Nat? Oh, I'm good. I made it through a whole oh, gym session without needing an inhaler. And then I walked past like a couple of dogs on a walk outside and I'm like huffing and puffing. <laughs> Hi, I think we found out where we're going for food. I'm gonna hand it over to Natalie to explain this one because it was her idea. Hey, you're gonna like it. We are gonna try In-N-Out for the first time. I've always seen In-N-Out in movies and like on TV because it's a California based thing and a lot of people who decide on what goes into a movie are in California. So it's a big bucket list thing because they don't have them where we're from. So we've never been but we love cheeseburgers, so this is gonna be fun for us. They'd have to really screw it up for us to not like it, to be fair. Hey, there's that bridge. Yeah, there's that bridge again. That's really good. Wow. Mm. So we got a cheeseburger for me and fries for me, a double double cheeseburger for Jimmy and a chocolate shake for Jimmy. Oh my gosh. I think we need plates. Oh, cute. Hey, that looks good. Is that focusing? You can't tell. I've always wanted to go to In-N-Out. It's been a bucket list thing for me since forever. But the thing is, I always was trying to save it until we went to California. Well, we spent well over a month in California and never went to an In-N-Out. So at this point, I just really wanted to try it. So even though we're in Arizona right now, we can technically see California from where we're parked. So I'm calling this close enough. So good. <laughs> It feels weird to review a fast food restaurant, but I think we've hyped it up so much in our minds, or at least Natalie has. But uh, it was really good. It was all less than $15. We got, I got a double double. So it was a double cheeseburger. She got the normal one and we got chicken fries. It's a pretty good deal. And it was a, uh, and it was pretty good food too. All right, do you want the rest? Yes. I think the fat and the sugar really complement each other. <laughs> I, I think this is where we're gonna end the video um, we had a lot of fun hope you guys did too but remember to subscribe so we can get to our subscriber milestones so we can send you guys some stickers if you don't know what we're talking about go watch our last video it explains the sticker giveaway that we're doing we will see you next week and and the week after that no the thing, <laughs> oh. the thing. say the thing bye <laughs> there you go